So now that we've got our Flappy Bird sprite and our background, the first thing that we're going to look at doing is adding the actual controls and the code to Flappy Bird to make him to actually be able to move about the screen. So in the game, whenever you're actually playing it, you'll realize you start somewhere around the middle and Flappy falls down the screen. Every time you press the screen or a button or the mouse or whatever you want to actually use to control the bird, you want to jump up the screen. So to achieve that in Scratch, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to click on Events and we're going to say when the game starts or when the green flag is clicked, we want something to happen. So we're going to go to Motion first of all and we want, whenever the green flag is clicked, we want Flappy to go to a set location on the screen. Now you should hopefully already know that um, behind the stage in Scratch we have basically a graph going from left to right, the x-axis and the y-axis going from the top to the bottom. Exactly in the middle of the screen will be 0, 0. So if I change that to go to x, 0 and go to y, 0, it's going to put them right in the middle of the screen. If I change to x minus 100, that's going to move them over this way. And if I change them to x 100, 100, it's going to move them to the right. So for Flappy, we want x to be 0. We want them to be right in the middle of the screen. And the y coordinates, we might, because we've got this little bit of ground at the bottom, we might want to move them slightly up the screen to about there. So let's try, um, that's about y 20. So let's try y 20. Green flag it. And now you'll see when the game starts, this is where Flappy is going to appear. So that's fine. Now at all times during the game, Flappy, whenever we're not touching the screen, should be falling down the ways. To achieve this, in a very simple way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a forever loop. I'm going to say forever. So when the game starts, go to a certain location. Forever or at all times during the game, Flappy is going to fall down the screen. So we're going to go to motion. And again, this is a Y axis. We want to change Y by a negative value to move them down the screen. So I'm going to go to change Y by. I'm going to drag that in. And let's just see if we change Y by 10, Flappy is actually going to fly up the screen. We want him to go down the way. So we're going to change it to minus 10. He's going to fall down, but he's falling down too fast. Okay, so I'm going to change that to minus 2 and see what that's like. Green flag, maybe slightly too slow. Minus three. Again, you can change this whatever depending on the size of Flappy and the size of the pipes, etc. It might be different speeds for your game, but this is just a general idea. So I'm happy enough with minus three for now. So that means when the game starts, Flappy is going to go to the middle of the screen and 20 on the y-axis. And at all times during the game, he is going to fall by minus three. Okay, so that's Flappy starting off and he's fallen down the screen. Now obviously we want the user to be able to actually interact and control the Flappy Bird sprites. So what we need to do now is we need to create a piece of code which is going to allow the Flappy Bird character to move up the screen whenever the user presses a certain button or touches the screen or uses the mouse. So to achieve this, again we're going to say when the game starts or when the green flag is clicked, we want something to happen. So we're going to go to control and we're going to say forever because we want this to happen at all times during the game whenever it's running and this is going to be an if so if this is happening then we want to do something so what we're going to do now is we're going to use sensing to find out what is that what is uh, the user actually doing so we can find out if sprites are touching different things or if a certain key or mouse button is being pressed so i'm going to say forever if the the space key is being pressed then we want to do something so what we actually want to do is we want to make flappy go up the screen so again we're going to use the change y by and let's just try 10 to see what that's like so now that the game's running if we press space you can see it moves slightly up the screen obviously if this was controls to the game it would be a lot more difficult so it's not suitable value for y let's change it to 20 and see what that's like So that's much more controllable. We can go up, we can go down. Maybe make it slightly. Let's try 17. OK, 
Okay, so that's not a bad speed, I think, for being able to move up and down the screen. Obviously, whenever we add the pipe, etc., we can change, we can fine tune these values, and there are lots of different ways you can do that. I'm just using a very, very simple method so you can create a very simple version of a Flappy Bird game in Scratch. So that is telling Flappy to go to the center of the screen whenever the game starts and to fall down the screen at all times during the game. And this is saying whenever the game starts, if a certain key is being pressed, then we actually want to move Flappy up the screen. So the next piece of code that we need on Flappy is whenever the game starts, he obviously has to be able to die. To, kill, to stop the game or to get game over, there's two things you do in the game. You either touch the ground or else you crash into the pipes. Obviously, we haven't created the pipes yet, so we're going to focus on the ground. And to do the ground, what we're going to basically say is again, control, events, when the, the green flag is clicked, control, forever, if, and again, it's going to be sensing, if something is happening, if a the flappy bird sprite, which is one we're on, is touching a certain color, the color of the ground, we're going to want something to happen so drag that into there click on the color and now i can select the color of the ground you can see now that's changed to match the color of the ground so it's now saying when the game starts at all times during the game if flappy is touching the color brown we want to do something so what we're going to do is we're going to stop all and what that's going to do is that's just going to kill the game whenever flappy touches the uh the the ground in the game so that's the three main scripts that we need for flappy right now obviously there's lots of different ways we can do this this is a very simple version and we could also have it so flappy is rotating and moving about and make it look a bit more realistic but uh, we might look at that later on